Lucas Simmons doesn't have to go far to get to work. It's a little small for a giant project like this, but it's really cozy and it's right in my backyard. The Shawnee artists renovated a backyard shed, added electricity insulation and air conditioning to be able to paint his latest project. He's been commissioned to create four pieces for the Oklahoma State Capitol, each is roughly nine by 11 feet. So that's a little bit of an engineering feat for most artists to figure out how to work on such a scale. He utilizes modern day technology and grids his canvas to paint. But I find that that's the fastest way for me to work. It's the most accurate. With you know 20 or 25 people in the painting, it's become pretty necessary. Actually go and take photographs of people, Oklahoma folks. I'm very bad at Photoshop, but it's been you know indispensable with this job because I cut figures out and I'll drop them on my drawing, on my sketch and then I can kind of manipulate them and transfer that drawing onto the canvas and work from there. He uses real people to depict those in the paintings, part of a series titled La Bar Omnia Winket, the Latin phrase that's Oklahoma's motto, labor conquers all. It means a lot of different things to different people. I simply think about the workers that make up Oklahoma, what people bring to Oklahoma through their work, Recently, the first panel was installed at the state capitol in the new ground floor rotunda space. There are four panels in the rotunda of the capitol that will include workers from all regions and all backgrounds. They're sort of moving together in a circle around the rotunda. They're all walking in a line towards the sun. Really, that was just a compositional device to put as many people together as I could. Um, trying to represent as many different kinds of people and, and jobs. And in the southeast is the timber industry. And in the background you can see a group of people using cant hooks and ropes and things to roll a big log onto a pile of logs. And in the foreground you see a bunch of different kinds of workers walking in front of them. And, and the next painting is going to be the same way. His second canvas focuses on agriculture, work that he's familiar with growing up in small town Oklahoma. I grew up in a really rural area, Walitka, Oklahoma, and those are the hardest working people I've met. If you continue to make things and produce work, you can usually um, find a way forward. Don't let inspiration find you waiting. That's a good way to tie this into the labor conquers all. If you're not making work and working, when you're privileged with an opportunity like this one for me, or uh, with an art show, anything like that, a commission, you just won't be ready, you know, and the opportunity will keep going on. Led by the Oklahoma Arts Council, the Works in Public Places program showcases the talents of artists like Lucas Simmons. He was chosen for this project after the council spotted his work on display. His thesis painting illustrates skills for large-scale work. I like a very physical painting surface, so I like to use a lot of paint. With each stroke of paint, this artist captures the faces of Oklahoma, the diversity of its people, and strong work ethic. Each panel takes him three to six months to produce oil paintings that will last for generations. You know, I'd love for people to see something of themselves in it. It's just amazing to think that this sort of process that I'm involved in right now, this big job for me, it's kind of a once in a lifetime thing. You know, anytime I go into the Capitol, it's very humbling to think about my work hanging there, especially standing in front of the other paintings that are there already. In Oklahoma City, I'm Quinn Tran for Discover Oklahoma. Here's how to find out more about this great Oklahoma destination. As always, TravelOK.com is your best one-stop shop for information about all Oklahoma has to offer. Please press like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.